different software. So I'm using Photoshop, but it's not necessary how to be Photoshop. And then I make a second layer for this. And now you have done this perhaps many times, but I do it from the scratch, the star removal here, and explain why every step is done. I'm using dust and scratches, and then I pick up from the image something where it's some bright detail, like a tip, tip here. And I place the radius, let's say in this size, stars are not very big, I use 15 and set threshold so that this detail doesn't go away. You can check it here. Not yet. This looks good. Only stars are. You don't have to be extra careful because you will see that all the mistakenly removed parts are going to be back there. Okay, that's the first round of iterations. Second. Second. I put the value smaller, let's say 9, from 15 to 9. The same thing, I select the right point. Looks good. And again, third. Let's say five, nine to five. Now it's, I don't want the picture get soft like now. It gets soft. So I back off a little. This looks good. Okay. And now the fourth iteration, dust and scratches. I lower it down to three. Uh, the lowest radius, usable radius, is usually the uh, same as the star size. So it's, if you have good seeing, you can go down to one, but if you have average seeing, maybe three, four. Now this image has about around three star size, so I go down to three. And now I change the threshold again. I take a couple of points here. It looks good. And you can see some dark details are missing now. If I go close up here and I blink, you can see there's uh, some dark parts are not badly, but a little bit. Like here, like this one, it's missing now. So I take a copy from the image with stars and with bring it front and turn mode to darken. So now it only dark details are restored back. As you can see, this if I go very close point, you can see the dark noise is coming back. Here is a dark noise. It's coming back. So now there is a few brighter stars here. So not too many. Uh, I just use a uh, heel tool, or you can use a copy or whatever you like to get rid of them. This is not actually a very necessary step, but if I want to stretch the image, the bright spots are disturbing. So I just pick up a few brighter points away here, a couple of clicks. Say the, this is this image is actually just a, a stretched stack, cal calibrated files. Uh, <clears throat> I always say many times, but to work this method, all the original raw files has to be perfectly calibrated with flats, bias corrected flats, least. So there is no, uh, and there can't be any any gradients. 
otherwise you take just gradients out. Mm -hmm. So uh, if there's a gradient, I use something like a gradient terminator or some other software to flatten the image. So I make another copy. I'm using this. Now the starless image and image with all the data. And now this image will be subtracted from this image. It leaves only a difference between those two images. And it's done in, under Photoshop, it's done here. Uh, Apply image. And then you select mode subtract. And the name of the image was it's That for some reason it gives me mm, ah, this offset. Okay. Sorry, I did it wrong. This is image A H A. Yeah. I saw that wrong image, sorry. Apple image H A. Uh, yeah. Fine. These values must be like this offset has to be zero because it was for some reason it was something else. Its default value is zero. <coughs> and <clears throat> okay, now we have image which where it's just stars. But if you look very carefully, are very close here. You can see there is stars, but there is noise. Can you see from there? 